Consider another extending ramp from a loading platform to the street. The top of the ramp is 15 feet from the ground. How far from the base of the building would the ramp have to be placed for the slope to be one half? So if we think about this graphically, we can think that the bottom or the base of the building is going to be the origin of zero, zero. So we're told that the top of the ramp is 15 feet from the ground, so that would be the point of zero, 15. We want to know what would be this ordered pair so that the base of the building, how the ramp would be a certain amount away from the building so that the slope of this ramp would be one half. Now the slope is actually negative one half because this is a decreasing slope. It's just for the slope of the ramp in general, we're ignoring the sign. It's just the direction that the ramp is facing. But that means we're going a rise of negative one and a run of two. But we can actually use proportionate slopes to see what would be equivalent to that. So if we are actually going down 15, we want to see how much are we running if it should equal negative one half. We want to say negative one over two is equal to what over what? Well, we know that the rise should be negative 15. If I can have my marker, it would be negative 15 over something. Well, in order for these to be proportionate slopes, that number would have to equal 30. Because negative 15 over 30 is proportionate to negative 1 half. You're creating those proportionate triangles. So that ramp has to be placed 30 feet away from the base of the building, making our answer choice D.